Oh man, today we got Brick Baby in the building on Say Cheese six years man, later. Man, you dig, you dig. You already know it's Big Blue Jesus, Brick Baby, man, the low, man. You know what I'm saying? Coming straight out of LA. Back with my boy Sean. What's the deal, man? I always wanted to ask you this. Did you drop Shitro from your name? I dropped Shitro from the name. Uh yeah, I dropped Shitro from the name because when I started like appearing on CDs and shit, they was like, oh, the radio, make it radio friendly, radio friendly. So I just kept the brick, baby. You know, I didn't want to change it. You know, I was just going shitty one time to shit troll. Yeah, but in the street, though, it's still shit troll for sure. You already know, man. I'm a little shitty, man. Everybody know me, man. You know, I, no affiliation with, with other people. I'm just a little shitty, man. You know what I'm saying? There's other people <laughs> with my name around the area, but we all got the same beliefs. But yeah, that's me. Shit, shit, tro, shitty Montana, you know. Right. Now, you've been home for a little over a year? Yeah, a little bit over a year now. Okay. And you did four years for what? I did four years. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad that you asked. I did four years. For something similar to purse snatching. <laughs> no, I did four years because first and foremost, it was a lot of other shit going on with like my boy had just got picked up from my house for uh, a homicide robbery or whatever. So we was under investigation or whatever. So uh, I had got into it to him with a manager at the bake store. My boy had ran out with some uh, with some motherfucking uh, jackets, but I didn't know he was gonna run off with the jackets or whatever. I got into it with the manager at the bank store for some whole other shit. And uh, my boy, he seen my energy and ran in there. And it ain't my boy no more. That nigga's a rat. So, you know what I'm saying? I was in jail. So that was a rivalry because when he ran back out, they got to a fight. I guess if you touch somebody while you purse snatch it, it turned into a rivalry. So, wow. you know what I'm saying? I was in jail for some bullshit. So it was a normal day. And then it turned into a nightmare. Normal day. Uh, the, me, Desto, Dub, D, Cozy, we all was on the case. It was all players up there. And, like, it just, the police, that's, like, the craziest part. Like, if it would have been audio to the cameras, like, I would have never been in jail. Dub wouldn't have been in jail, nobody. But it's no audio, so it looked crazy. Like, I never called Dub not one time that day. Uh, we ended up. See, I ended up seeing Dub. I had just got some juice. He had some juice. You know, this is what niggas do in the juice community. Yeah, I'm like, hey, what you gonna do? I send him in there. I'm like, hey, bro, get some extra fanners. He had to go do something around the building. You know what I'm saying? So it looked like he was casing the joint for us. Like we mm -hmm. called him and he cased the joint. So then we was over there going to go tend or whatever the fuck. We came up there. Cozy was living with me at the time. Shout out D Cozy and all the uh Shit he got going on, one of the dopest black artists around. Uh, but yeah, me and Cozy was just doing our thing and uh, fuck around and dub, go around the building and all the shit go crazy. And nigga, dub end up picking up a jacket and all type of shit. But all, everybody like this dude was just doing the most, trying to fight everybody and all that shit. But you know, we was younger or whatever the case was. Nigga picked up the jacket and nigga, I picked up a jacket and threw it at, at, at the snitch nigga or whatever the case was. And they said that the fact that I picked up the jacket and drove off, I picked up a jacket and drove off with this nigga in the car. I was a part of a robbery, but the whole time they wanted me to testify on my boy murder. Uh, they came to come holler at me about my boy shit. Uh, it's a whole lot of shit, but a nigga, hey, you know what I'm saying, that a nigga, that I don't know how to really curve and go into it, but they was trying to do that Rico type shit, like, all right, you the head nigga, you got something to do with all these people involved with murders, but really you just, my boy really wasn't, didn't even do the murder, but you know what I'm saying, hey, trying to take a young black nigga down at the big house out in Porter Ranch, four, five different cars, man, living life, and they, you know, trying to stop my shine. So you feel like because you didn't testify, they 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 laid it down on you. They ain't let no, you go away. No, for sure, lightly. for sure. Because it was like I had the reason why I couldn't bail out because of probation. So then, two years go by. That was the rest, the max they could have gave me for probation. 
and a motherfucker, like, like after the two years went by, a motherfucker asked for a bill and all that. They like, no, nah, uh, that means that you go a bit guilt to this case. So if you, if, if we let you, if we violate your probation now and let you out early, you admit guilt to the case. So on your real case, we can give you the max on the case. But the whole time they sit there trying to wear me out to nigga. I didn't get sentenced till after my boy trial. He was in jail for six years. I was in jail for four years. You know what I'm saying? Like they was just sitting us right there trying to, you know, I know not to talk to nobody in jail. They just kept on trying to catch us from any aspect they could do, but it, it wasn't nothing like that going on. You know what I'm saying? They were just my brothers. We played basketball together, all that shit. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, we from two different hoods. So what was we doing it for the benefit of? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, now at this time, you know, I was even in LA a few times and we kicked it. You had so many, you had so much motion going. You had cribs, you had cars, you had girls. Um, you know, you was hustling, you was doing your thing. They tell you, you have four years. What goes through your mind? You have all this shit going on and it just stopped for four years. Stop. Like, really, really. When it first happened, it was like unbelievable. I'm like, man, like what the fuck? I was minding my day. They had undercovers on me or whatever. But it was like, nigga, once I got in that cell, it was like maybe God got me tucked away for something. Because I was doing the right thing, bro. I wasn't taking from people. I wasn't doing nothing. I just was living my life. You feel me? I think God snatched the nigga up out the streets for a second to let whatever dark cloud was gonna roll because a lot of a lot of crazy historic shit happened while i was in jail and it's like that the riots came back to la like who knows what i would have been doing during the riots like my boy my brother got killed while i was in jail not only him as soon as i went to jail fats got killed uh and the line of other people got killed and this shit popped off over here this but you know what I'm saying? It really like took me off my glow. Cause I'm like, you know what I'm saying? I'm nearing 30, I, I, by the late twenties. They ain't telling me when I'm coming home. So at that point it was like, all right, just get right with God. Maybe it was so my liver wouldn't fail. Cause I was getting high back to, you know what I'm saying? Drinking hella juice, drink popping hella per, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. I, I, I just had to get right with God and like focus on myself. So, you know what I'm saying? That, that, that might've been, you know what I'm saying? The reason, cause that's the only thing that was going through the head. Why the fuck am I here with all the, I, I ain't even go talk down on nobody else. I mean, but the same nigga in the tent downtown is sleeping right next to me. And I just was doing the Maserati and the Range Rover. And the, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, man. You know what I'm saying? Ain't no place for no P. I know, yeah, man, free YSL, man. I know they going through it. Yeah. So you're in jail at this time. You're, you're a public figure. You're a target. What is it like, you know, being in one of the most dangerous jails and, and, and they see you, so all these different gangs and, and, and then it's you, you know what I mean? <laughs> that is me, the most dangerous nigga. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And, uh, they're my cousins and all my little niggas, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm in that motherfucker. I just go back to my natural habitat. You know what I'm saying? This player shit, I just learned that. You know what I'm saying? This where it really, I, you know what I'm saying? Like, where a nigga really come up from, so it ain't, I'm going back there, it's like a family reunion, I'm not, fuck jail. I'm not, you little niggas do not want to go to jail, I don't care what cousin in there, you don't want to go see him. But look, right, that's just me, like, you know what I'm saying, I'm one of them gorillas, untamed gorillas too, so it's like shit. They like, do you want to go high power? They they gave me an option, I swear to God, OSJ came see me, Operation Safe Jail, that's the gang unit. They came to see me my third day in jail. I was in the station. They transferred me to the county about the third day in jail. They came to my cell like, uh, all right, we're going to take you to high power. We're going to take you to million dollar row. I'm like, for what? I was, What's that? Wait, wait, wait. Is that PC like? Uh, some people don't have a choice to be there. Like Chris Brown and all of them, they're too big. You don't get a okay. choice. You get what I'm saying? It's it, it, In my case, I feel like it would have been opted out as PC because I still ain't really reached reached that level of starter. Maybe in the streets, but that's what I was asking for, trying to be famous and all that. So I can't and you run from and that. You turned thing. it down. You turned it down. Yeah, I turned it down for sure. Like you get if it's recorded, it's on record. OSJ Gorman came to my cell, nigga. I swear to God, it's the one that that know all the homies and all that shit. 
came to myself, like, nigga, you want to go up to high power, you know what I'm saying, a million dollar row? That's where Soldier Boy and all them niggas be at when they be in jail. They don't, we don't never see them niggas. Like, Draco was in main high power. He was in high power, but they sent them there. He was in general population with me. He just was doing too much. I guess his fans start threatening, so they sent him up there or whatever the case was. But, yeah, though, know, I opted out of that. Like, man, shit, send me, you know what I'm saying? General population, you like, it's a spot you want to go? I'm like, man, just let my number get called wherever I go, bro. You know a nigga been through this shit before. You know what I'm saying? The minimal conversation as I can with the nigga. What's the biggest gang in jail? The biggest gang in jail? It'll be the Southsiders, the M.A., like, like, like the Mexicans. The biggest gang in jail, the Mexicans. Then, it, then it'll be like, probably like the neighborhoods and shit, neighborhoods. Then the gangster car. The gangster car might be, but that's a whole lot of gangster crips all together. Like it's 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 probably the Mexicans, the neighborhoods, the gangsters, and the hoovers. But the bloods is big as hell too, cause they don't separate. So it might be the neighborhoods, the blood card, or the blood card then the neighborhoods, cause you know it's less of them, it's less blood gang, so they really stick together. You know what I'm saying? They don't really be with that that beef in between they little shit. So yeah. Do the Mexican give give y'all any issues in jail or it's, it's pretty yeah, it's yeah. chill? I mean, it's starting to get smooth though. They got a little peace treaty up in the pen right now where the Southsiders and, and the blacks, you know what I'm saying, that it came to a agreement to where, like, I don't know if you hip or if y'all hip, like before it was Crips and Bloods in jail and all that stuff, it was the black gorilla family, like the BGF. So they was doing so much like they had it to where Crips and Bloods couldn't come on the main line like probably like in the early 70s 60s uh when gangbanging first really came about they had it to where like Southsiders couldn't come on the line like you know what I'm saying so they like a big part of the jail culture they come out of the northern California or whatever so they were stuck in the, in like all the shot callers the head of the Crips the head of the Bloods all that they were stuck in the hole for years, they've been back there 20, 30 years. So they they had a peace treaty or whatever the case is to where, you know what I'm saying? As long as it ain't no bullshit going on, no disrespect on the yard, we kind of got a ceasefire. We ain't really getting cracking with them niggas like that. But you know what I'm saying? If a debt come about or something, you know what I'm saying? It's always some bullshit in jail. So you know what I'm saying? But right now it's kind of smooth, but yeah. Like when they numbers get up, they kind of push their power, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, you know what I'm saying? But you know what I'm saying? Niggas is so ignorant, we force them to. So who's the most hated gang in jail? Is it still the Hoovers? Or is it in jail, is it different? I don't know if the Hoovers the most hated gang, though. You got to think. It's the, the, the Hoovers, they say that they they ABK, but they ain't ABK, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit, it's the neighborhoods, bro. We beef with everybody but neighborhoods. Like, don't nobody else like us. Only, only niggas we get along with in jail is like, nigga, the Denver Lanes. The bloods, like like one blood, you know what I'm saying? And they can't really fuck with us like that because they real bloods, like you know what I'm saying? But we got an uh, understanding. But nigga, they fuck with the A trades, all them, you know what I'm saying? The Hoovers, they do their thing. So you know what I'm saying? Like they ain't really the most hated. We really like the most hated. Like y'all can't, like, hey, don't let them get their own door. Like once they, you know, once there's too many of us, it's, it's, it's a problem. But they go crazy though. They go crazy. I I give my eye state props with props do, but yeah, nah. It'll probably be us in the Hoovers though. Like the neighborhoods in the Hoovers. Yeah, did you did you ever see Crip Mac in jail? Yeah, I seen Crip Mac in jail. That's my dog, man. He got mad at me last interview. He said, nigga, you tried to make it seem like I was a broke nigga, man. Talking about I shot you food. I was like, man. Nigga, every nigga that come into jail and ain't with the story yet. Nigga, nigga go shoot some food too. That's <laughs> that's my boy though. I, nigga, the uh, cuz came in there. It was an op door. Swear to God, I was in an op door for like six months. You know, I like I said, I be just let my number get called. So a nigga ain't asking to move or nothing. It was probably like twenty brims in that motherfucker. And then uh, that nigga comes in, he got the bicycle. See, everybody see the Hoover killer. Y'all know the other, he got the bicycle whacked out. That mean nigga, Brim killer. Like, you know what I'm saying? They diss him, they call him bike ribs. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? I ain't trying to really just get all disrespectful of this motherfucker, but you know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I'm from Nate Bud. But, uh, uh, 
they see this. It's like 20 of them. They wake me up like, hey, bro, on Bloods. Hey, wake up. You got a homie just came in on blood. Like, I'm like, for where? From 60? Like, no, he from 5 5. They was dissing though. I'm like, bro, I'm the hood. They said it, they, you know, they dissed them different or whatever the case was. So, man. So when I wake up, I'm looking, I'm like, oh, I know little cub with the falcon on his face. Cause I had just seen cub before I went to jail. Me and 21 was at the, uh, me and 21 Savage went up to the Marathon Grand Opening together. I took 21 up there, took him through the hood or whatever, cuz. And uh, I had just seen the little nigga. So uh, the, uh, I tell, I'm like, oh, yeah, I know the little nigga. They like, oh, we need a fade. That nigga got the uh, hood whacked out on the wall. I'm like, he like, nigga, I ain't turning down nothing. He like, oh, five, five crib. You know that little boy. He like, I ain't, th- I ain't turning down nothing, nigga. Woo, woo, woo. I'm like, hold on, bro. It's like 20 of them in there. He like, he like. He like, oh, five, five, there's 20 over there. I'm like, oh, the hood, bro. I'm like, oh, six soda. I'm like, nigga, you ain't got to calm your issue down. I'm like, hey, cuz go get two fades at the most. Like, really? Oh, uh, anybody else want to fight cuz after that? Cuz I'm going to take cuz fade. You know what I'm saying? So cuz get in there. He, he squabbled two niggas. Then the next day, my nigga Bad News, they, he was on trial. My nigga shout out Bad News for real. He, he a monster. Uh, the, he like, he like, oh, bloods, bro. He got two fades yesterday, bro. But I gotta get him. He my size. Ooh. <laughs> so nigga, my nigga C Mac. I'm like, bro, you want this grumble cut? He like, nigga, I ain't turning down nothing. Nigga, we go. Uh, uh, they did they little. So thing. wait, you're you're in a you're in a whole dorm full of a different gang, and it's just you. Yeah, it was me and my brother from West Boulevard. One of my brothers that I was telling you about on on, on the little shit. My brother Face. Shout out Face. Hey, I, shout out K three. Uh, six seven from West Boulevard, but yeah, it was my little brother. He was the only other nigga in there. Like when he had a little pool in there. Like when I came, nigga, it was like you could hear a pin drop silence. Like you hear what I'm saying? Like nigga, it was about because I got transferred down back to the county from out like uh, at Wayside for dental. So Are they talking shit to like you? One in the morning. Uh, six so uh, I'm finally getting housed again. So. Door opened up. This I'm like in jail for two years at the time. I lost about like 70 pounds since I've been home on purpose though. I don't like being no buff nigga. But uh, I was in that motherfucker. I'm about like 225 at the time. But my boy YG Nut from Brand, shout out my nigga Nut, shout out Nutty Boy. He in there too. He just was in, in on on the 4,000 flow with us when it was the numbers was against him. You know what I'm saying? But I play fair. So you know what I'm saying? Uh, what I mean by play fair is I don't be overdoing no ops when they come in. You know what I'm saying? You know you're an enemy. You're going to get you two phase. That's that's like being cool. We ain't going to run you seven, eight niggas. You don't got to fight. So wait, them. wait. Not, not not to cut you off. That's like the, is that like the jail rule where? Yeah, yeah. Two you, phase. Two phase. Two phase, like the, 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 the two phase minimum. That's the minute. Well, well, max. That's the two phase max. You can get one, but you know what I'm saying? Well, it's a gang of ops in there. You, you. With your rep being on the line, you don't want to just get one fade. It's like, nigga, let me get my two and get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, that make you feel better at night. It didn't stall me or nothing. But, you know, six on the other hand, me and YG Nut, we had been, you know what I'm saying? We had already been gagging and all that. So, on the hood, I pull up in the door at one in the morning, boom. They like, Mind you, it's a party in LA County all night. 24 hour program, phone on. So nigga, with a nigga, with our bounce in, everybody up. The door open, they like, where you from? I'm like, nigga, little shitty, neighborhood 60s. They all look like, what? Nigga, mind you, my boy in trial, so he sleep. You know, nigga be up all day during trial, so my boy sleep. Man, six up, uh, little shitty six up. Uh, I got a big ass store bag like a trash bag. I put that motherfucker down of oh, the dead ummies. They like, what? Nigga, Eaglewood family, West Side Bread, West Side Bread, West Side Bread, uh, Crashaw Mafia, uh, Devil A Blood, Devil A Blood. I'm talking about blood, 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 back to back. I'm like, is it any Crips in this motherfucker? I don't even care if they ops. I'm like, uh, is it any of them in this motherfucker? So now, Hey, Trey Gangsters. I'm like, oh shit. West Side Hoover. I'm like, oh yeah, it's lit this motherfucker. Like, all right, like I'm six, so let me go put my shit there. Uh, the hood, I go take off my glasses. They like, yo, bro, like my name, everybody know my name. So they like, yo, bro, yo, bro, face here. Ooh, ooh. Like, 
So now YG Nut get off the phone. He like, oh, blood, that's my nigga. I've been with that nigga. Like, nigga, all through the county. Ooh, ooh. Um, it said, I kid you not, he ready to fight with his homies and all that over this shit. Then um, he end up, uh, they like, nigga, he like, he don't got no phase. Unless one of you niggas, like me and Bad News ain't squabbling them. We been knowing the niggas, so we ain't squabbling them. So if one of you niggas want to squabble with the blood, do your thing. Uh, the hood. Now, mind you, I'm looking like a monster in that motherfucker, though. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling them, like, watch out, why you not? Like, don't, don't get into it with your friends over me. Like, bro, it's this regular. Like, this is what we doing, jail. Like, nigga, don't trip. I got it. He like, nah, blood, like, you really my bro. Ooh, ooh, ooh. All right, keep it a thousand. All right, nigga, I owe that nigga my life because I like how he put his shit on the line for a nigga. But long story short, I didn't get no fade. But mind you, I done fought niggas that was in the dorm two or three times at court and shit like that. So it was like, nigga, I ain't going to fight no nigga twice, nigga. And, uh, we already fought. I'll fight you. That, that, that's out of respect. I see you again. I'm finna hit you with that metal, nigga. I ain't finna keep on playing with you. <laughs> but, right. Yeah. Now, now, I want to say like eight months ago, I seen a video. You were probably out. You were probably out of jail like six months. And you made a video and you was just basically like, uh, you know, when people come to LA, they got to check in. Like, it's a lot of rappers living double lives. And I'm just paraphrasing. I don't want to misquote yeah, you. Yeah, but, yeah, nah, go ahead. Um, listen. Yeah, but but you you made a video about that, man, and you was just like, you know, shit about to get real different. You know, I think this was after Draco the Ruler passed away. Yeah. You remember you remember saying that? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know that's one of my quotes. But uh at the end of the day, this is what it is, man. And I I I'm glad you brought it up in that manner, cause you know a nigga like genuinely checking in does not mean you gotta come to LA and bring some money down and all that shit and bust down. This the thing. Not every rapper got to check in. Look at Drake. Drake ain't involved with no gangbang. Drake don't do none of that shit that everybody else do. You know what I'm saying? Want to be out everywhere and all that shit. You know it's a gang of thirsty motherfuckers in California, point blank, period. My, my thing is don't never ask a motherfucker for a favor then turn around and don't invite them out to the player shit. You get what I'm saying? That's where you get caught in the, in, in the mix. But what I mean by checking in is, if you bang in my street, say you from over there, are you banging any street that's around this motherfucker? And you way in another city. Nigga, ops don't come down there trying to shoot at y'all over the shit that's going on. You know what I'm saying? But when you come to the city, come check in with your folks. That's where you, that's what you say you from. There's no 60th Street or no uh, uh, Inglewood family. It, you know what I'm saying? Inglewood. There's no Inglewood in your area. You know what I'm saying? So when you out here, go check in with your folks. You ain't got to be outside. You ain't got to catch no buddies. You ain't got to catch a body. Then go over there and drink with your folks. Invite them out to your room, the ones that you trust. Nigga, y'all go outside. Y'all play. Niggas enjoy living luxury, too. You get what I'm saying? They ain't going to never... Nine out of ten people ain't gonna never see the success that you see being on and being from this area. So when you come back, go check in with your folks. Let them feel like they a part of that shit, man. Cause you gonna want them to kill for you. You know what I'm saying? And when some shit going on, you gonna want them to fly out. So nigga, do do what you' supposed to do. You know what I'm saying? And if he down and out, man, shit, and you got it. Help your man's out. There ain't nothing wrong with that, nigga. I always help my little homies, nigga. And I ain't even no millionaire. I always help my little nigga. Up. Period. Now, now you're all over the blogs right now, man. Let's get to it, man. You're all over the blogs right <laughs> now. Um, you know, you and Cowboy, y'all been having a back and forth. Um, where, where did it start at? All right, so this is this 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 where it all starts at, man. It all starts here, Cowboy. I guess people knew. To what extent he has, what he did. Mind you, I'm in jail while this, all this going on. I can't read no paperwork. I don't know what's going on. I don't really talk on the phone. Then the nip shit, like a soft subject. I really ain't taking no interviews, but it's like everybody been taking interviews and try to like big they self up off my boy name. And then they don't even be like, hey, that's my nigga. Like, oh, uh, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, a motherfucker don't never put the right approach. Ain't nobody ever put me in the clear. Like, when I was in jail, they was throwing up 
pictures of my face. They thought I had got out of jail and killed them when they first heard it was shitty. You get what I'm saying? So, you know what I'm saying? Then the nigga baby shitty, that's unfortunately, and fortunately, because that's my friend, like, that's the nigga little brother. Unfortunately, he was on drugs and did what he, you know what I'm saying? Like, like he's still in trial, so I don't know if he did it or not. I'm not gonna talk about the murder part, right? So, but this is my boy too. So, like, before all that, that's Nip boy too. We all know each other, you know what I'm saying? But this is my boy, like how Nip my boy. But I raised him. Like, that's how it goes in LA. Like, if you little and then baby is up under you, that means that's your little homie. That's somebody close enough to you to where you, you know what I'm saying? You, you ad- that's your adopted brother at the end wait, of the now, day. Wait, before you keep going, so 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 we can so we can catch up. You you raised Eric Holder. Eric Holder. Eric Holder grew up with me. Eric Holder wow. lived with me since he was 17 year old. Eric Holder is was you know what I'm saying? We all we're from a certain section of the hood that's like family, like Nip from our section too. You get what I'm saying? But Nip, my boy, like I how I every day with Eric, like I had moved to Atlanta after high school. Y'all know that's how I got to, I went to college out there and nigga Clark got caught with the weed or whatever. But Eric was my boy. He was coming to Atlanta, all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But he decided to start doing drugs and shit. And uh, we kind of like start separating. But once again, Eric never told on nobody in the paperwork, never been, been, so, you know what I'm saying? So, the rumor had been around, you know what I'm saying? And I guess he just don't, uh, you know what I'm saying, like the fact that motherfuckers is even mentioned. So, uh, how we get to where we at, huh? Go Hold on, wait, wait, wait. And you, you're saying he never really snitched? Nah. He never snitched, okay. Nah, the situation that they talk about is with Another one of my best friends that we grew up with. You get what I'm saying? Like, I'm in the middle of it. Like, I don't want to be in the middle of it, but like, just like subconsciously, like, cause knowing everybody, it fucks me up more. Like, I know the nigga who started the snitching on me. You get what I'm saying? But it never happened the way that people say they boys. And I don't want to go deep into that situation at all. You know what I'm saying? And make it seem like I'm taking up for nobody. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I ain't taking up for Eric. You know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, they boys, they get pulled over with some shit. You wanted the younger nigga to take the shit. He didn't take it and you mad, but it really was your shit. So while you was in jail, basically you said he did some shit. You know what I'm saying? Like some yeah. shit like that. But on the dead, I mean, cuz I never told on nobody to my knowledge. Now, uh, if they bring us some paperwork, cause I don't know how this game works. You get what I'm saying? Like nigga, now if you bring out some paperwork and show me that a nigga told, then he told. I'm not opposed to that fuck cuz too. How we get here is my nigga, cowboy cuz, is my boy. Like, you get what I said? You are, like I grew up in juvenile hall rapping your shit in jail while I was a kid. Like, nigga, I was like, damn, we cuz from 40s who didn't know me, but surely had love for the homies. Like, that's some shit that we all used to rap in jail. Him and my, uh, my homie died, cuz. But, uh, yeah, like, nigga, we all looked up to Kev Mack. Like, you know what I'm saying? The hood was hurt when Cuz started smoking. Cuz Nipsey went and got his big homie back, made sure that he got off crack and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, like a real homie. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I get where you coming from with the fuck Eric. Everybody on the fuck Eric. At, at the end of the day, you knew that was my boy. So it's like, cuz, you did some fucked up shit to a nigga you know was my boy. You my boy, cuz. So it's fuck you at the end of the day. It's certain aspects because you didn't have to flip the homie over some shit that he, you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, you get what I'm saying? But under no circumstance, cuz, do any nigga that's up under our umbrella help the aid police in anything that they doing. It's like, and then niggas gonna flip it and say, oh, big you, big you, big you, with, with, with the grid shit, why you ain't address that? Let me say this and I'm going to leave it here. I ain't read all them damn papers that's going on, right? Every person, how can I say this? I ain't trying to 
I ain't trying to offend nothing, and I ain't trying to speak on my big bro like that. It, it, it ain't nothing wrong with what I'm saying. Uh, he'd be less of a leader if some motherfuckers was offering some money to put some money in the hood for to develop the hood and the youth. After you done did everything you do, this is how you pay them back the hood. Now, the confidential informant shit, Everybody has the right to face their accuser. So if he out here telling on everybody that's going to jail, then nigga, at their trial, you got to put that man on the stand. You only can be a confidential informant until the trial. So I doubt all of that shit is going on. I don't believe it. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so motherfuckers keep on saying, why you on the dress? Oh, man, I don't think so. It, now, you going to let another motherfucker from somewhere else go get the gang intervention money that's in your area? You'll be less of a leader not to take the money and sprinkle the money. And then who else but the nigga who got the football team and got this going and he already got development options and all that. That motherfucker had to go to school to even get in that program. You get what I'm saying? Like if a motherfucker read, I ain't read all the other shit. I, it takes a whole community to make the grid shit. I doubt my big bro is hiring motherfuckers and, and smutting his name like that. I just don't see it. You know what I'm saying? So under no condition do we do we aid the police, bro. A nigga's not in an investigation. You're not helping the police finish. And then a motherfucker gonna say, oh, he not in jail because of me. No, he ain't in jail because of you. And you didn't even have to say nothing then if he's not in jail because of you. You get what I'm saying? Ren Paul, you say he ran, but he's running from the police he got a, a a a a warrant out for his arrest right now because he's not finna sit on the stand and answer not one question. He don't even matter. He know he could go up there and plead the fifth. He's not gonna answer one question about it. You get what I'm saying? Now you going up there and saying, "Oh, he didn't say he was a snitch," and you saying that's why he killed. you aiding the police. He's in jail because of you or one of the people that's saying that he was that is the person, and that's that that ain't the reason. Like, so if that's his defense, if if his defense was, okay, he called me a snitch and I was in the heated passion, you said he didn't call you a snitch and it wasn't a heated conversation. So he's in jail because of you. Like, how are you not? You get what I'm saying? Like, that's snitching, bro. You can't be a gangster and snitch. You can't be a gangster and no disrespect to the LGBTQ community. You can't be a gangster and be gay. You can't be a gangster and be a snitch. You can get away with a whole lot of other shit. You can run from a fight. You can do all type of shit. You can, like, you know what I'm saying? You can come back from that. You can catch a disciplinary fade. Yeah, nigga, don't do that no more. And we going to train him to be a soldier. You don't run no more. We going to whoop your ass. Don't run. You tell, it's no ass. Well, you can't whoop that up out of a nigga. You've already done damage. Nigga, that's like suicide. You done shot every, like, 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 we represent the same thing, and then you tell it on nigga that represent the same thing, so you, it's like killing yourself, it's suicide. So, that's how we got to where we at, nigga. I respect all my elders around that motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Right or wrong, nigga. Nigga didn't expose you when you were smoking crack. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, cuz, like, you get what I'm saying? Like, nigga, nigga, we tried to age you. Nigga, we didn't go fuck over you while you was down and out. Nigga, why is you doing that to somebody else? Nipsey wouldn't want you to do that. Let's go there. Nipsey wouldn't want you to tell. Like, guess what? Everybody knew baby shitty did it. You know what I'm saying? Everybody knew shitty cuz, shitty cuz, shitty cuz, right? The whole world was gonna tell on that situation. You didn't have to say nothing, but go ahead. If you you could have held that to yourself, and if you wanted him to get washed up, it was gonna happen. And you could have just been happy and you didn't have to say shit. You get what I'm saying? Now you done ruined your rep in the hood. Then you representing our shit still. And it's like <clears throat> you on Instagram shamming Rimpaw for running. None of you niggas had guns. Y'all let the money die. Y'all let the bag slip from y'all. You get what I'm saying? None of y'all had guns. Y'all know that man worth the world to us, nigga. On six so crit, nigga. It wasn't nobody with no guns outside. After that fake altercation with Eric, we was supposed to all pull off. Hey, get up out of here, nigga. We, you know what I'm saying? Woo, woo, woo. We gonna go get the blicks. You smell anything, nigga. This the money, nigga. On six so, nigga. I never. 
on the hood. That's why I got all them invading arrests. You're never going to catch me on Crenshaw and Slosser with no gun. You ain't going to catch me nowhere on Slosser without a gun. That's why I don't kick it over there because I ain't trying to go back to jail like that. I do. I pull through. My whole family live over there. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to say what's up. I done been shot outside and all that. I'm not going to be on Crenshaw and Slosser with no gun. Everybody, you from out of town. You know when you come to L.A. where, where you could catch Nipsey and the Crips at. Right or wrong, for years, before this, before, before he died and it became a monumental, you know what I'm saying, a monument, and you know what I'm saying, like, you know, like, you can come down, so everybody knows this, man, you got to think that all the time. Nip might be used to not riding with a gun and he having J-Rod, so his comfortability is he don't ever have a gun on his hip, but that's y'all, all of y'all supposed to do that. So Eric Holder. You you personally know him. You raised him. Who is Eric Holder? What's his personality like? Eric Holder. Damn. You got some shit going on, cuz. And that the world don't even know that nigga. That's, that's crazy you asked that. That shit down there brought tears to my eyes. That shit is made a nigga's stomach. Fall. Like, is, is he this, is he this, this monstrous uh, devil? That 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 the world painted him to be. Eric Holder is a real gangster. Eric Holder is like, and I ain't trying to big him up because Nipsey is a real gangster too, a six o. But Eric Holder is like a real street soldier type dude. Like he ain't no bad person or nothing. I feel like if he did murder him, let's say quote unquote he did murder him. If that's what did, well he said he did murder him. So I can kind of talk a little bit more without being, but just say, uh, I feel like it was because his feelings was hurt. You ever, like, you ever heard a gangster feelings? You ever heard a killer feeling? You, you say cheese. So you already know the pressure of hurting the gangster <laughs> feelings. <laughs> Not like that. I can't even laugh. Like, I have to take myself to laughing over Yeah, yeah, shit. yeah. I get where you going with it. Though. You get, get what I'm saying? Going. But you get what I'm saying? You, 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 yeah. you the nigga. So you know that pressure after you tell the gangster yeah. he ain't that hot and he got, he can't really yeah. come on. Like, what am I interviewing you for? Yeah. And he like, nigga, what you mean? I'm, nigga, I am mm -hmm. the streets. You told that to a nigga like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, and he ain't no Jay. He like a real loyal person. So him coming up like, hey, what up, bro? Get up. Whatever the conversation was, I know he was big and nip up like coattail ride. Not, not dick ride. You know what I'm saying? But he was big, bro. What up? You know what I'm saying? Nip successful. So every time a nigga, a nigga gonna give him his flowers when he see him. Like, you know what I'm saying? And for me to be here smiling and I let my girl hop out to take a picture and I'm saying I know you and we grew up, we know each other, and then this is the conversation that we have, it might have broken nigga heart. You get what I'm saying? It might have broken nigga heart to where it was like, nigga, oh, I'm finna slide, come back and not cuz down. That's it. I, he, he didn't have no shirt on, probably didn't have his gun. Like, I don't know. And it's like, I don't know with me being a millionaire and being in the position that I'm in, even the position I'm in now, and I ain't no millionaire, but if I would, I don't know if I would have approached, I wouldn't have approached a nigga about his paperwork and all that shit, because I really don't give a fuck. I'd be trying to get the conversation over with niggas anyway. You know what I'm saying? So it probably was something else going through my boy mind. He probably just was irritated, period. Like, because I know Nip. He genuinely don't give a fuck about shit like that. You know? So you don't, you're telling me you don't think envy or jealousy took part in any of this? Of what? That nigga's a SoundCloud rapper. Wait, you, you couldn't possibly want to be like Nip. You nowhere close to being like Nip. That could have been a storyline for like me, Conrad for the Ave, Pac-Man, J-Stone, BH. You know what I'm saying? That could have been a storyline for that shit. Uh, uh, like he probably is jealous. Like he shit, got to put a fan in the window still. Like who ain't jealous? Of, uh, you know what I'm saying? At that point, I don't think that's what led it. Cause it's like, it's like, okay, me knowing that the paperwork shit kind of like is a false situation and then me being cuz big brother and having to deal with the situation firsthand calling my best friend and all that shit bro you know what i'm saying i kind of know more than other people so right. like that was the word that was on the street and you know that shit spread like cancer you tell the motherfucker you tell the world 
that a nigga gay or a nigga snitching, they're going to immediately, it's going to spread like cancer. So when the word comes out that he's not, everybody's not going to catch the positive word. Facts. That's right. Everybody got the negative stuck in their head. So I feel like bro heard what was going on and didn't hear about the other shit because it didn't spread like that. And he was just left thinking that little bro. And, I, and, I, and I'm, I'm with Cowboy. I don't think that it was a heated conversation either. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm with Cowboy on that. Like, nigga, I don't think it was no heated conversation. I really think he was like, damn, nigga, where you been at? Like, damn, they said you were telling and all that. Like, uh, you might need to go get that together, bro. Like, you know, like, uh, nah, but I just feel like, damn, cuz, being like, as fucking great as Nip was, and like, I just know this nigga, this my brother, like, nigga, like, I'm the dead homies, I know you, you gave me so much wisdom, like, you did talk me out, of, I'm squabbling my baby mama, fighting my baby mama, and coming to the studio pissed off, we staying in that hot ass studio, uh, nigga, uh, uh, the air go off at three in the morning, don't come back on till seven, nigga, uh, the dead homies, uh, nigga, that's just because we was in the business building, so, um, uh, like, Plenty nights uh, watching Steve Jobs documentaries and nigga, him just putting me on the Gandhi and all type of shit. It's like, damn, I never think that you would even approach a nigga and give a fuck about that type of shit. Like, right. I, it really, like, first of all, when I called home, I'm like, damn. Like, a nigga, first of all, like, an enemy, a nigga from Blackstone told me, like, hey, Nipsey just died. Yeah, you know, I'm on my gangbang, so I'm like, nigga, stop playing with the hood, nigga, I'm the dead homies, nigga, the fuck is you talking about the homie died, like, nigga, the fuck is you talking about, so I see tears in the nigga eyes, so I'm looking, I'm like, man, what the fuck is you crying for, he like, nigga, nigga, for real dead, like, woo woo, I right, run to the phone, they make everybody get out the phone, because everybody know that's my boy, even the police officers, just off of knowing, you know what I'm saying, they coming like, man, make sure Mitchell don't trip today. Make sure, you know what I'm saying? They damn near was ready to put me isolated. And I'm like, man, I'm cool. Like, I was sick, so like, just give me my space though. You know what I'm saying? Nigga don't want to talk. Yeah, uh, I get to the phone. I'm like, nigga, I call, I call my my girl. And I, I'm on the phone with her. I'm like, hey, Nip just died. She crying like, yeah, ooh, ooh. She with my boy, uh, Lil Killer. He be rapping now too. I just started him rapping. And uh, shout out Lil Killer. Little killer right there. I'm like, I'm like, uh, I'm like, uh, hey, um, I'm like, what the fuck happened? I'm like, it don't got, but well, mind you, it was a lot of shit going on at the time. So I'm like, hey, that shit don't got nothing to do with nobody like inner circle, do it? Like, like, woo woo. They like, man, it's closer than what you think. I'm like, what? I'm like, what you mean closer? Than that? I never, this nigga been doing drugs, going off the map and all that. So it's like, you know what I'm saying? I never would have, that would have never been what I thought. You get what I'm saying? So the motherfucker like, uh, I'm like, man, he like, I'm finna figure out how to tell it to your bitch, bro. And then nigga, I'm gonna get off the phone. I, I, I mean, call back in like five minutes. We're gonna figure out how to word it to you. So I'm sitting by the phone. I'm man, cause I'm crying. I'm stopping. Like, damn, who killed this nigga, man? Like, damn, like, at this point, it's like, did my brother kill him? Did my cousin kill him? You get what I'm saying? Like, did he kill him? Ooh, ooh. So I call back. They like, it's baby you. I'm like, baby you? I'm like, hell no. Nah. That's my little bro. I'm like, cut it, kill him. She just big you, sir. Hell no. Nah. They like, nah, baby you. And I'm like, baby me. I'm like, like, baby she? And I say to the phone, like, are you dumbass nigga? Why are you on the phone? I'm like, oh, shit. Because you know them calls is recorded. Yeah. So they like, man, what the fuck is you? Doing? I'm like, oh shit. I'm like, man, I started crying for a second and I hung up the phone. Everybody tried to crowd around my bed. Get the fuck away from me. Like, nigga, I had set. Like, I'm just sitting, like, the tears stop. I can't even cry because I'm in shock. I'm like, damn, my little nigga killed one of my best friends because I'm sitting there and I'm trying to make some sense out of it. I'm trying to make some sense. I can't, though. The fuck going on? The fuck going on? Then now, it's finally to hit the news. He done did it with, with the motive and all that. I'm like, man, what the fuck? Like, this gotta be a dream. Like, it never did that just happen. You know what I'm saying? So, did Eric Holder, did he have any passions? Did he, did he have a hobby? Is there anything he wanted out of life? Eric Holder just wanted to be a hustler. He wanted to be a rapper. He always used to call me like, bro, I got this, I got that. He wanted to be a rapper. 
He did want to be a rapper, but he was never that great to be wanting to be for Nip. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, cuz. Like, I, this my little homie. Yeah, I'm giving him beats sometimes or whatever. I got to listen to it on my phone when he sending it and shit. You know what I'm saying? He, when we was kids, like, he just like a loyal motherfucker. He, I, I don't want to say it. He just wanted to be like me, bro. Like, I'm trying not to say it because I ain't on and piss nobody off, dude. Like, you know what I'm saying? He kind of wanted to just be like a player type nigga. He used to come out of town, but he never got the playerism down. And then he started doing the unplayer drugs, so a nigga had to cut him off. You know what I'm saying? Was he crazy? Well, it's like some shit that I don't want to talk about that might have steered him to go crazy. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But he did have brain surgery, you know what I'm saying, later on in life. So, but he was smoking, he was fucking with Crystal Beth. Yeah, he was crazy. He might have been fucking with Sherm too, huh? And what, was he high that day? You you think he was high on some other shit that day? Because if he was sober- 100%. He probably wouldn't. 100%. You killed the nigga in broad daylight on camera. You couldn't have been using your thinker. You couldn't be using your head, gay. You killed the nigga broad daylight, no ski mask on camera. Out of emotion. That was it. And somebody, and you emotionally got set off. And I'm not saying out of passion, not in his defense. That shit fucked your life up, nigga. Weirdo. Because you wasn't thinking, nigga. Even if you was going to get out of whoever you get out. And I'm talking to other people. Why would you get out on camera? Like, don't fuck yours up like that. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you got that nigga card. If you beefing with that nigga, it's another, it's time and place for everything, nigga. Your mama taught you that. Yeah. So. And that's why I would be kind of fucking weird about fuck with cuz, cuz it's like your morals is fucked up, bro. You could have thought that one out. Yeah. Now, I remember Wack 100 said something on Clubhouse and it, uh, it got a reaction. He said that, uh, Nip was wrong for approaching him. On uh, about his paperwork or whatever about being a snitch. Do you agree with that? Fuck what? Oh no, fuck what? I don't agree with nothing he say. But, but, oh no. In the gang culture, he just speaking in gang culture, and he just narrating. You get what I'm saying? He ain't really said nothing wrong when he said that. That the other shit he doing, a nigga can't fuck with, but. He can't, uh, as far as gang culture goes, if the paperwork, if you ain't read the paperwork and you don't have the paperwork there to present, you don't have to have it there. If you ain't read it with your own eyes, you really not supposed to say nothing about the situation. But then in the, in the context of what, how he asked him, that sound like a homie just checking on the nigga. You know what I'm saying? If Cowboy yeah. said, if the way Cowboy said it was, was how it was, then it sound like a homie just checking on the nigga. You feel me? Now, the reaction in jail. Nipsey Hussle, he gets killed. Everybody finds out in jail. What is it like? That shit, I, I didn't know that many niggas. I'm talking about Ops was crying, nigga. That shit was like a sad week in that motherfucker. Like, the police had to turn off the fucking parade after the funeral type shit because everybody was tripping. You know what I'm saying? Just like not fit of the situation. You feel what I'm saying? But the Mexicans loved him. You know what I'm saying? Mexicans loved him to death. They had all that he was high. Nigga can't, he wasn't disrespecting nobody else, so niggas was fucking with him. You think he made it popular in LA to the Crips wear red and you know the bloods wear blue? Did that is that something that Nipsey kind of started? Cause you know, all his album covers were really red. No, I think that was him going against the eye. Hey, going against, you know what I'm saying? But we always, we always wore whatever the fuck we wanted in LA. Like uh, that shit is some shit that happens out of town. Like, we'll be blued up, like, cause that's our color. Like, you get what I'm saying? But we wear whatever the fuck we want, cause we really guerrilla warfare. Like, nigga ain't giving up our rag. Niggas really getting killed over just wearing the wrong color out here. So, a motherfucker playing disguise and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
motherfucker wear what they want to wear out here. Out, out on the other cities, they blue rag, blue this, 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 rag around the head. You don't see niggas dressing like that in L.A. They one, one block unless you in the backyard or the apartments or something. Then niggas got their rags out and all that shit. Cause niggas ain't just walking down the street with their rags hanging. You know what I'm saying? Niggas know what's up. Like, nigga, that for years, he probably got a big old strap on him. Or high off drugs, shit. You said even the ops were crying in jail and shit. Yeah, for sure. For sure. It was a lot of niggas like, like, ain't no telling, like, like, supposedly something happened to the nigga the other day. Like, ain't no telling where them niggas is from. That, that wasn't the gang that did that. That for sure, 100% wasn't probably the homies that did that. Nigga, the guards, the guards was crying. The guards fuck with them. Now, back to Cowboy. He says, uh, none of y'all were at court to support him. He feels like nobody's supporting Nip right now. Nobody's showing up to court. He he was even saying none of y'all even have to take the stand. Just be there to support Nip and, and see what's going on. Well, how I feel about that is I, I don't know, but I don't even know if Black Sam is going to court every day. You get what I'm saying? Like, it's like a nigga revisiting, you showing the dead body. Like, if anybody ever been to a trial, niggas ain't been to trial. So, first and foremost, you showing my boy body, you laying it up there with the holes in the head and all the little blood leaking out. You know what I'm saying? Like, you really like doing something to a nigga brain, first and foremost. So, it's like, don't nobody want to see their boy victimized like that, first and foremost. So, and, and then, second of all, a motherfucker's not going down there because me, I know that knowing both sides, motherfuckers blame, motherfuckers' families blame their friends for them being in jail for life or dead. Like, oh, you should never hang around. You should never hung with you. You should never fuck with y'all. And you know that energy be weird. I ain't, you know what I'm saying? Ain't nobody reached out to me in a loving manner yet. You get what I'm saying? So... A motherfucker not, I'm not just finna go startle the people that's losing both of their kids right now. One, they ain't never right. gonna see their kid because of wrong decision. And another one ain't gonna see their kid to a wrong decision, but he did. Like, you gonna see your kid, but you'll never be able to have your kid there again. So it's like, that's another reason. And then it's like, who else is sitting in it? Who else is at this trial? What you want a motherfucker to follow a nigga home to the car, know what type of car he got? Like the police, the way, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on, bro, niggas is still outside. So it's like, to, it's only to a certain extent. We can go march for nip, we can go do whatever. But that courthouse and that police station, I don't know too many gangbangers that do that. I mean, how many times a cowboy been in jail? How many court dates had a homie's been to with his? Like, I mean, homies came to visit him. Like, you know how it go inside that courtroom. Now, he also said, uh, you know, something about a squabble, y'all linking up or something like that. And you said, you know what, you're not fighting, you don't, you don't fight, uh, quote unquote rats or you don't, you're not, you're not interested. You're not answering this phone call or anything like that. Yeah, it's like being, being a real nigga. Cause it's like nigga so too in, like too in few in between that motherfuckers don't really have the same morals no more and like nigga you could be a real nigga don't gangbang until like you know what i'm saying like that might work you know what i'm saying somehow you know what i'm saying but in this world you can't do that so it's like nigga if i'm in jail they, i'm just trying to give you the best story like all right if i'm in jail this is just one i'm gonna give you two scenarios if i'm in jail and and it's a PC nigga or a nigga in yellow, a yellow shirt or whatever the case is, or uh, not even the yellow niggas, because some niggas be playing crazy to beat their case, but a PC, they got to keep away wristband. You going to see them. You never make contact with them people. The police make sure they in the way. Nigga, if you fight a snitch in jail that's already known snitching, nigga, somebody going to do something to you, because if you make a... Uh, if you try to fight or try to do something to a snitch, you better be killing him in jail type shit. You get what I'm saying? 
Like, nigga, you not fighting no snitch. Like, the consequences of snitches is death. If you catch him and can beat him out, but it ain't no head up phase, let's go, oh, you told on my boy, let's go fight, nigga, head up. No, nah, nigga, you don't get the luxury of doing that gangster shit. I'm fighting gangsters. I fight my boy, and I'm only fighting my homeboys, nigga. Nigga, I'm six, seven. You know what niggas doing on the street, boy. I know. I ain't saying that it ain't gonna do nothing to no nigga. I'm just saying, nigga, know, I'm not fighting no snitch. So for me to go in the area of a snitch knowing that I'm a, a, under these real nigga terms and conditions, I gotta do something else to you. So it won't even be no fight. You can't even fight no nigga like that in my world. Like, you can't even come around me, you can't talk to me, you can't touch me, you got the cooties, nigga, watch out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> now, you, you also mentioned that, you you know, you told me earlier that you've been cut off, people cut you off, or something of that sort. Yeah. What did you do to get cut off? I'm trying to ask the same thing. It's like, what happened? Cut off by who? Is it is it females? Is it the the 60s? What's going on? Uh, I ain't gonna the, the the rap industry as a whole, not a whole, but my my industry friends that I thought was my friends. Now, free YSL, Gunna Slime. Y'all did, you know what I'm saying? You you already know. We ain't even got to talk. Long are, are, way. We, are we speaking Dirt. like a? Are we speaking like a Pee Wee Longway? No, 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 no. Longway is my boy. He's still, we doing our thing and all that. You know what I'm saying? Dirt. It's the other niggas. Just, just, just look. And I ain't going to say nothing because I'm not trying to piss too many off with the cutoff word because they, oh, you need your hand out and all that. It's like, don't bang my street if you ain't going to fuck with me. Cause Now, any nigga, you can name some names. And if you don't see me with them, why they in LA and all that, nigga, you know they supposed to be with me, nigga. That's who we talking about. It's plain as day. You get what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you niggas, when you niggas was broke, we could go through DMs. Or when you niggas was up and coming, we could do that. I just feel like they wanted to be around me when they was broke because they didn't have nothing. But Because they got this in my head, in their head that I just rob rappers and do all that. I don't rob rappers. Like, nigga, name one. Name, name one, nigga. I be making sure you niggas is cool. Like, nigga, on the set, I ain't never closed in and took nothing. Nigga made it, gave me something, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, some cash. I don't take jury from niggas. Like, nigga, you have never seen me on Instagram. Like, oh, yeah, come get it back. Woo, woo, woo. I don't do that shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? So you you know what type of pressure this shit is, though. You know this the real one. You have been with a nigga while we was in the trenches. So now you a millionaire now. You don't want that type of pressure around. But you think I'm going to turn that energy on you? You my boy. I love you. I wouldn't give a fuck if you had a dollar or a billion. Nigga, I'm going to treat you the same way. So, I mean, now me saying that, you can say some names and I'm going to tell you, do you see me around or not? Yeah, it's, a few, it's, it's a few names, but you said you said that they, they, they're they repping your shit. So, their neighborhood, you, you put them in, are, are they 60s now? I mean, I don't do the recruiting and all that. I ain't no game boss, so I don't know. But you know what I'm saying? If you niggas ain't coming down to the section, what we did with the check it in, if you ain't making us feel like we love you, then shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, no. Nigga, you not from the set. So any nigga banging a set that ain't touching down and ain't doing their thing and all that, or I didn't need me, like, me and Quavo got into it over that shit. And he, like, 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 he didn't understand and like we cool like we super cool but it's like uh I, like like me and quavo got into some shit and uh when bobby smarter came home but i didn't know he signed him and that was me jumping to the conclusion but still it's like nigga when bobby came home that's my boy nigga baby you and them fuck with cuz like nigga i don't got nothing against bobby that's my dog i fuck with rebel bobby. i fuck with the gs9 all the brooklyn crickler niggas you know what i'm saying i fuck around you know what I'm saying? So, uh, Bobby came home and he gave cuz a bag and all that shit. Cuz the nigga in the trenches, my niggas gave me a bag and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? But the nigga in the trenches, cuz I didn't stood. I'm the one that ended your beef with Chief Keef and them. Niggas don't want to, niggas don't want to, nigga, shine the light on that. That day that they took that picture at the studio, that was me and Kid Ink session. Nigga, 
on hood, nigga, nigga, Chief Keith the kid, they got just met for the first time for real in person that day, but nigga, they came up there tweaking, poles out and all that, won't smoke. Nigga, you niggas wasn't even piped up like that. Like, not like that. I'm not even trying to talk like that. My other young nigga, uh, bands, cuz be activated, we go bands and all that shit. But long story short, I bounce out like, nigga, nigga, put them guns up. Nigga, ain't none of that going on right here. Nigga, nigga, y'all bust a shot in the city. Y'all niggas ain't gonna make it up out this motherfucker. Plain blank, period. Fredo was there. That's my dog. Rest in peace. So he made it a little bit smoother because, you know, some niggas be young minded. Phone ring. You good? Yeah. Yeah. So some yeah, afraid of my dog, rest in peace, right? But other niggas is young minded, high headed, you know what I'm saying? Chief keeping them having money. Nigga don't want to hear it. You hear me? And they really own that. You know what I'm saying? So he made it smoother because that's big cuz they big cuzzo. You know what I'm saying? He made it smoother. To, to to smooth the shit out and nigga we talked it out all that we hashed the shit out but mind you if they wanted to just start smoking at me they know they could have killed me because they had more than one gun you get what i'm saying on the hood so my whole thing is this you got niggas that ain't never asked you for nothing out here nigga fresh out of jail too you talk about this what you supposed to do for a real nigga when he come home it's like nigga you didn't grow up over here you didn't grow up on this side like, but a nigga put it on the line for you, you know what I'm saying? Then I came home, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, you know what a real nigga going through just coming home. You know a nigga ain't got nothing. You know a nigga need it. Whatever you got to offer, you know what I'm saying? Whether you, you know what I'm saying? Niggas wasn't checking on they boy, so when I flash, niggas don't see it. But on the we had to have that. He like, man, you can't be doing that jumping to conclusion because I signed it. Woo, whoop. I'm like, yeah, bro. But you could have signed me too, though. Like, nigga, and it could have been a bunk deal. You could have still got the money from the label and just had some money in my pocket. And you would have, if I did catch a hit, you would have had me in pocket, nigga. And you got a shooter, well, whatever the fuck it's called, a nigga in your pocket for life, a real nigga that can get shit done. You get what I'm saying? And it ain't like I needed you or whatever the case was. It damn near bought tears in my eyes. I'm like, bro, you don't understand. Nigga risked his life for you. He's like, damn, big bro, whoa, whoa, whoa. And I'm like, cuz on the set. And then I apologize for calling him a bitch and all that shit. You know what I'm saying? Cause he ain't no bitch. But we wasn't agreeing on something. Then we got over. That's what brothers do. That's one situation. Then you got a dope head nigga like Chris Brown. You get what I'm saying? Like, 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 fuck cuz. You know what I'm saying? Like, period. Cuz on the dead of You got a dope head nigga like him that when he see you in person, he love you, he love you, he love you. He get high. You text, you like, where y'all at? Nigga, I'm finna pull up all that. He get to tweak it on the phone, talking crazy to a nigga like a nigga, a kid. Like, you bitch ass nigga, boy, you, nigga, listen, cuz you're a singer, cuz. On the dead of you, you be doing what you do, all that shit. You think you can fight? Nah, man, I'm hood. We really in the streets. Nigga, I ain't worried about all that shit, bro. On the hood, nigga, on uh, 6 oh, Niggas like that, like, really that I really used to be with. Like, niggas don't even know me and Breezy. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know we had to be close enough. He did a free song for a nigga on Nasty Diller, too. Like, you get what I'm saying? On the dead ummies, but, like, some shit that happened before I went to jail that was uneasy on him or something without that I don't be really being with every day, I guess. You know what I'm saying? And then... I get it, like, nigga, I got up on him right before I went to jail because it was with all the hurrah, hurrah, like, talk about he wanted to fight a nigga, all that, cuz. So when I say cuz, a nigga get up on him. You know what I'm saying? We had the video shoot with Future, Thug, and all them. I don't think so. Everybody break everything up. Don't let me really do what I want to do, because you know that's family right there, Future and Thug. So they like, bro, you know, we, you know what I'm saying? Like, we fucking with Breeze. I'm like, oh, yeah. Breeze only know y'all niggas cause of me, like for real, like not like that. You they know you cause you niggas stars. Dead homies. My niggas is stars. All of my niggas, like you get what I'm saying. But long story short, boom. So now I go home. I mean, I go to jail. I come home. I see. I'm at uh, Slime and them having a. We at the bowling alley. Y'all know who function it was. We we always go bowling. So we up there with Slime and Gunner all them, and I see Hood. And I see Chris Brown with my little nigga, uh, 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 Trap 65, my little nigga. Uh, uh, it's me and Cuz and my manager, Cuz. So we see uh, Chris Brown. I'm like, oh, I go over there. I'm like, man, I've been waiting to see this nigga. You know, a nigga fresh home. Huh? Hey, what up? You know what I'm saying? Check it out. He don't got no security or nothing. He, uh, 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 
You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what up, bro? I'm like, cuz I'm sick, son. I'm like, nigga, how you feeling? I'm like, cuz the nigga, that nigga been gone, bro. Like, cause my brother was seeing him, my brother do road management and shit. So my brother was seeing him when I was gone and he was like extending his love, like, tell your bro, woo woo. But I'm like, that's fake love. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, we just was getting into it cuz over your drug head habits. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, you flipping out off drugs, like, nigga, so on, sick, so. We get further down the line. Uh, I see, boom. Check it out, bro. He, oh, I knew it I'm like, hey, bro, you want to follow me on Instagram, block me and all that. He like, nigga, I didn't block you on Instagram, nigga. That's smart shit. I'm like typing my name. You get what I'm saying? You know, he like, oh, oh, yeah, bro. We real niggas. That's some Instagram shit, nigga. You know I love you, nigga. Woo, woo, woo. I'm like, nigga, you just did the bitch ass shit. You talking about some, we real niggas. That's some Instagram shit. I'm like, come on, cuz. Like, you not a real nigga, boy. Uh, cause you just said that you wasn't, cause you said that's some Instagram shit that real niggas don't do and you did it. So, oh, uh, you checked yourself. So, mind you, he give me his number now. Oh, yeah, bro, woo, woo, just come fuck with me, woo, woo. So, mind you, I'm like, all right, I'm fucking with this. I ain't even really need nothing. I'm like, my music ain't even back cracking enough to need you again right now. But that's my boy. Like, he ain't on drugs. Like, I used to talk to him in rehab. I used to talk to him when he was in rehab. Nigga, he, nigga used to be like, man, you one of my only true friends that just tell me how it is. Woo, woo. This right before, this is when he went to jail on a probation violation and all that shit with the Karuchi era and all that shit. I was like, damn near staying with him every day and all that shit. So that's really my dog. But then it's like, cause he let all these new niggas around change his perspective on shit. So it's like, nigga, on the hood, like motherfuckers, and they'll blackball you. Like, I'm blackboard by some whole other niggas too, but a nigga not just gonna keep on putting it on it. Cause it's like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, but it's just like, nigga, they'll blackboard you a name like that. Like, I just had a meeting with RCA. I forgot about what just happened. The, the, the A&R nigga was hot. He was hyped. He was ready to go. And then it was like, I was like, oh, oh, yeah, I understand the work. I forgot you was there. Like, go ahead. I know you the king of this city. Let me get on. You know what I'm saying? But, it's a lot of niggas with money that's blocking a nigga out though. I just, you know, it's certain niggas I ain't gonna talk on because a nigga gonna do something to them. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's why I keep telling you certain names. A nigga just ain't gonna say no more. Yo, see it with me, nigga. It just is what right. it is. Yeah. Now, I do interviews with Charleston White, uh, street <laughs> activist. Uh, he really does a lot for his community. Um, you know, we have a lot of viral moments. That's my guy. Um, you know, he believes that there's nothing positive about gangs. Nothing. Nothing positive about gangs. You agree? 80%. A gang teaches you what motherfuckers can't afford. Like, rich kids got AAU teams that they've been with since they was eight years old. That's their gang. They go to the same schools, they fly, travel everywhere, they hold like that's their game. We most niggas don't have we got recreational ball, but shit, if your mama smoking dope, you ain't even got enough for a uniform up there. You get what I'm saying? So it's like nigga, a nigga found recreation in the in the in the inner city, like in the neighborhood. So it's like the same niggas that you was riding bikes with, kicking over trash cans with your whole life and you start going to jail with, it's the same brotherhood, you know what I'm saying? It teaches you like loyalty like another loyalty it's a lot of snakes but it's a lot of loyalty like you got to trust this nigga right next to you to save your life every day he got to be protecting you and you know he protecting you that's why you be with cuz every day you get what i'm saying like you can trust him while you sleep you know what i'm saying like it's it's a whole lot it also teaches you nigga that everybody got to eat in order for a machine to work because if everybody ain't eating shit backfire and nigga be on your ass so it's like not like that but it's just like even if you debo like a nigga gonna steal from you if you ain't giving him nothing he ain't gotta just get up on you and take it you know what i'm saying but it ain't shit gonna be right less every brick was laid how it's supposed to you get what i'm saying so it teach you like valuable moments about life and build your characteristics teach you how not to be a punk you know what i'm saying and all that shit but then on the killing side and all that shit, you know what I'm saying? It's like, uh, all right, you know what I'm saying? The nigga was raised to be a crash dummy. And the nigga crashing out about some shit that happened way back then. 
But <clears throat> it seemed like that, but that ain't what we thinking. We just growing up. We already got, just say, all right, I was five years old. My dad got killed by the Brims. Now I'm 14 and I'm from rolling 60s. Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, nigga, now it's nigga. Oh, six, oh, what's up? Like, nigga, I'm finna go get my link back. I ain't have my daddy, so the streets that raised me this same area. So that beef could have died down, but now you got a young nigga trying to go get his link back. Or, mm. nigga, you just grew up and, nigga, you, as soon as you got put on, your boy got smoked by these niggas that the nigga that bought you around. Now you on their ass. It's like, we ain't looking at the big picture. It's just like, nigga, as soon as you jump in this shit, nigga, you jump off the porch, you running. There ain't no levels to this shit. Ain't no levels to getting shot at, nigga. It ain't, you nigga can't tell you you ain't gonna get shot at till your ninth month gang banging after you done been through this, that, and other. Nigga, it's niggas that ain't got killed the day they got put on. And I, nigga, I'm a witness. I, I know niggas that got shot while they was getting put on. Like, niggas come through while they see a niggas fighting, nigga, air both the niggas out. You get what I'm saying? He ain't even made it from the hood yet. Yeah. So, you, you agree with him? 80%. 80%. Because the killing is like the most, the reason why gang violence is gang violence. How much structure do y'all have still? Do y'all still have meetings monthly or that's out the window? I mean, I ain't going to really talk about it okay. inside 60, the, all that shit. Because I really, I'm rapid changing my life and shit now. So a nigga not, I, I don't know. I don't know, but I doubt that they have a meeting. Like when I first came around, I doubt that that's still going on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, I mean, shit, listen to Cowboy. He'll talk about that shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? He'll talk about that shit. I, you know what I'm saying? I can't give no intel like that. But it, I mean, gang structure is gang structure with a meeting or not because niggas meet up every day. Right. The meeting is just like the whole, you know what I'm saying? Like a whole lot of shit that really you don't have to do in order to maintain structure. You know what I'm saying? And then it's like some people don't go to meetings because there's so many informants around now. You don't know if it's a setup. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I don't know that meeting shit crazy. Like there's so many niggas mic'd up and cameraed up in the hood. It's like, nigga. Like, on June 10th, like, the whole world knows. Like, I could talk about that. Like, June 10th, 6 times 10, that's 60 days for all the people that still actively gangbanging and shit. Or they, even the honorary members that ain't active. It's just the day that niggas celebrate that they still alive. It's like a birthday party. Like, we still alive. We still from over here. We gonna do it for the niggas that's dead in this jail. You get what I'm saying? That party got shut down and within an hour. Police came right at that. How did they know where the fuck that was at? You get what I'm saying? Like... I mean, it, it, it's hard to get shit like that off now. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, they got cameras everywhere. They got ring. You know what I'm saying? It's hard to just, you, you can't, nigga, like, if they tap you, if they get up on your ring footage and you had to say, you, you, the homie got a big backyard. You chose to have a gang meeting back there and it's the ring cameras or audio. And nigga, two years down the line, he getting some trouble and they tap the camera. They get the, or something happened in front of his house, they take the camera, but now they didn't ran it back. You know what I'm saying? Just hypothetically, you know what I'm saying? Like ran it back two years. Now they got a whole game meeting. Right. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, nigga, this shit is kind of different. You got to, if everybody ain't going to strip out, take off their clothes or let niggas throw water on them or something, you know what I'm saying? Like, nigga, if everybody ain't going to do that, nigga, strip out and put on a new outfit before they go and stuff. You don't even need that no meeting, nigga. Because it's so tricky. Straight up. Now, before we get out of here, I'm wearing a red Phillies hat right now. If I was to wear this hat through through the 60s, would I be okay? Yeah. You'd be straight with the Phillies hat on. You got to think, YG bitch ass, my little brother. I love cut to death, though. I, 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 my bad for you even beefing with cuz mainstream, but cuz you my little brother. On the hood, we got to talk, nigga, on the hood. You know what I'm saying? Like, cause I live with YG, our family. So it's like the Philly P, we got like one or two Pyro sets that's around the area. But like, it depends on how you coming, though. Let me just change that around because I don't want to make the homie sound like pussy scales on the hood. Because you can't just bounce out at the store. Nigga going to ask you where you from, though. Yeah. 
hundred percent. You got that covered anywhere in the sixties. They gonna ask you where you from. But if you say you a Compton Pyro nigga, and they gonna be like, oh, all right, you in the sixties though, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? And watch out. You know what I'm saying? Like, nigga gonna get you. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna be more like a a brother tap. Like, a nigga ain't really gonna get up on you. They might make an issue if you got some jewelry on and don't nobody know you. They make a fake issue. Right, right, right. But you know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but if you like, like Rochi, my little nigga that be rapping from NHP, that's like our op hood right there. Like, if you say you from NHP, shit, it might. Might get killed, man. You know what I'm saying? But it's so close. It's so many different families that got different dealings with each other. You know what I'm saying? We really don't be smoking with them niggas. It's a gang. It's like that with a gang of the like hoods that surrounding the hood. Like except for Inglewood, because it's like they own city. But it's like nigga, most of the fat like niggas from this side who hood and our ops like four blocks that way, nigga. You know you got cousins in between. You know, you know how, how that shit go. Nigga, families back in the day used to move on the same street and shit. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or you make sure they're in the same area so you can pull up. So it's like, nigga, you got a gang them around the corner, but y'all all play basketball together. Now y'all ops. So some niggas don't got to, you know what I'm saying, immediately just stand on that with that nigga because you grew up with it. You know what I'm saying? So it'd be a lot of that going on with the close, close hoods. But then niggas still be gassing, though. You know what I'm saying? So, which hats are, are absolute no. Don't wear them in the 60s. It's not, it's not happy. Uh, Houston Astros. Okay. Who Don't knows? wear that. Uh, uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Mm. Don't wear that. Boston Red Sox. Don't wear that. Uh, Indians. The I or the Chief. Don't wear that. Uh, Texas Rangers. Definitely a no-no. At Rangers hat, it's just, you know, that's our original Crippo Crippy, Texas Rangers. Uh, Georgetown, Georgetown uh, Hoyas, don't wear that G hat. Uh, trying to think what other ones is this? Automatic. Uh, the Kansas City ones, the green ones that got the C and the K st stacked on yeah. top of each other. Hell no. Um, yeah, that's down there for the most part. It's it, it, it's some other ones, but them like the main ones right there. Like a nigga probably ain't really gonna do too much playing with you, and you got them on. It's like go time. You know what I'm saying? Right. Lean. You know, since I met you, you all you always been sipping on on some drink, man. Uh, are are you addicted? No, I'm not addicted to codeine. Yeah. So survey says no, 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 no. <laughs> Look, cause I I stop drinking all the time. Like I can stop drinking at the drop of the dime. Like right now, you caught me drinking. That's cause nigga, I just found out I'm having twins. I've been just trying to get out. Right, I got twins. Congrats, on the way, man. man. Yeah, Congrats. Man. I got twins coming. So nigga, how, how many ki how many kids is that total? Five. That's the Ooh. whole starting five now. Ooh. Yeah, man. So motherfucker been getting hard now, but it's an addicting drug now. Percocet, you might gotta get me a doctor to get off them. You know what I'm saying? So so but the lean though, you know, this the culture, it's the taste for me. Like, nigga, like that's why I can't drink no pie or no qualities or nothing like I drink green before I drink pie and qualities because green still got a cool little taste if you put it with the, you know what I'm saying? But I, I don't eat, you know what I'm saying? I like, right now, the head drinks is Quagan. I'm fucking with Quagan and Triss. Yeah. And I take red cool with that Quagan, that Quag, that Quay Quay, and that Triss. You know I'm a part of the culture, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm after DJ screwing them. I really, you know what I'm saying? I've been doing this since like 07. 